Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. Thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see from that title today, we are beginning the whole fire pit makeover and we of course are building it from scratch. So I wanted to start off this video by showing you guys the different options that we had to put our fire pit within our backyard. So this was option number one, which is actually my favorite. And then we're gonna move over a little bit to option number two, which is actually also where we had the bar at our wedding and so this is option number two comment down below right now which option you like and then I'll tell you which one we picked in a second but first I also wanted to show you guys my inspo pics I really wanted our fire pit area to be cozy have that beautiful ambient lighting overhead with the string lights the beautiful Adirondack chairs blankets everywhere just an overall cozy space that we can spend some quality time at during this winter season so, so y'all, we decided to go with option number two, which was actually Marcus's favorite. And we decided to go with this one because we thought it would be the easiest to build our fire pit here. So from tree to tree, it's 15 feet. And we determined that that will be the size of our fire pit, which actually is quite large, but we have a lot of chairs going in this area. We want everyone to have enough space. So we thought it would end up being really perfect. And after we figured out how big we wanted it to be, we found the center point and we stuck a pole right there in the middle because now we are going to start creating our circle. So I love this little trick that Marcus does with like creating the circle. You just tie a string to the center point and then we're gonna use some spray paint to kind of mark out where the edge of the circle will be. All right, so now that we have our circle mapped out, I'm a very visual person, so it really helped me to see how big it was going to be. And I love the size of it, so now it was time to dig. So we're basically just digging on the outside of the little dot that we spray painted to create the edge and like the border. And then I'm going ahead and scraping off the top layer of dirt so that way we don't have any weeds or grass growing where the gravel and the fire pit will be. It's all a bluff All right, y'all, so now it's time to pick out our materials. We are at the Home Depot, and we decided to go with this mini belt of stone. They're like a dollar and 38 cents a piece, y'all. Stones have gone up, okay? I guess just like everything else has. So we're loading up our cart with a whole bunch of these. Um, and if you watched my previous vlog where I took you guys to the gravel yard and everything, I was gonna be doing a different stone, but we decided to go with this one because we felt like it would give our fire pit a lot more structure instead of all the stones being unique because we knew we'd have to stack them up pretty high and then we're also grabbing two of these epic stones to create a little walkway as you enter into our fire pit and once we gathered all those materials we brought them right on home and now for our second stop, we are at the American Stone Company picking up the gravel that we need. We decided to go with the number 57 gravel and it's $45 a scoop here and we ended up getting two scoops. Uh, at the time that I'm filming this, we have not finished the project yet and I'm feeling like we're gonna need more gravel. But anyways, pro tip, if you don't have a truck, you can rent one from the Home Depot. And if you are picking up gravel or any like big thing that you don't want to damage the truck, just put a tarp down to make it a whole lot easier. Your heart sing, but you're not letting me yeah, get through to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Alright y'all, so I do want to thank Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. You guys know that with any and every project we do around this house, my little fixer upper I bought a year and a half ago, we like to do it on a budget and Rocket Money is making the whole budgeting process just so much easier for us. Rocket Money is an all-in-one personal, yes personal, finance platform that helps you spend less and save more. Not only can you set up budgets on Rocket Money, which is my favorite thing to do, because it helps me monitor my spending and also it notifies me if I'm spending a little too much. But you can also cancel unwanted subscriptions. There's so many subscription services out there today and I know that I'm like the queen of them. I subscribe to everything. And some of those things I don't really need to use anymore and Rocket Money just helped me see how much money I could save by cutting out a few. And with Rocket Money, you can just cancel that subscription with just a tap. So guys, there are literally so many ways that y'all can save a little cash by using Rocket Money. So if you would like to try them out for free and even unlock some premium features, Features, head to rocketmoney.com slash young lady business or click on that link down below in the description box so in addition to picking up the gravel we also picked up one of these tillers from home depot and we just rented it for the day and we decided to get one of these so that way we could loosen up the dirt the dirt in my backyard or i'm sure in a lot of other places too is so so tough so we really needed this to really like get that dirt a lot looser so we can move it around this is my first time using a tiller and my dad is the one coaching me through it um, it is easy once you get it started but I will say this machine is powerful it was literally pulling me every which way and I'm sure y'all be happy to see I got on some more appropriate shoes so <laughs> that's always you know something that you guys comment about I made sure to change my shoes we are not trying to mess up the toes okay so yeah, you guys will watch me do this for a little bit, loosening up the dirt, and then um, we're gonna begin taking all the gravel out of the truck. If you're new here to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I've been on the journey along with my husband and my family to completely fix up my home, which I bought as a fixer upper. And we've gone through the house room by room. And also we've been tackling some outside projects and we still are not done y'all. We have so much left to do in this house and outside of the house. So if you'd like to see all those things, please subscribe. And for all my returning subbies, thank you guys so much for rocking with me, liking the videos and showing love. All right, so now it was time to remove all of the gravel from out of the truck. And when I tell y'all, this was not easy. If you're getting as much gravel as we did, I actually don't recommend that you do it this way. It's just best to go ahead and get that gravel delivered. So instead of moving it like, you know, twice, you only have to move it. Okay guys, so I have to give y'all an update as to what's happened so far. Cause a lot has happened since the last clip you guys have seen. So basically we went and added more dirt because we figured out that, or like what we need to do to get this level is to build up the back area a whole lot more. So we use these two poles to attach a string and decided, well not decided, <laughs> and determined 
you know, how high each part needed to be in order for it to be level. So if you guys can see, this part of the land is higher. So back here where it's lower ground, it needs, the dirt has to go from where it is right now all the way up here to be level with that side. So that's what we did all last night off camera. Pretty boring stuff, just moving dirt around, adding dirt. So now that we kind of have the base of what we are going to be doing like all together, we can flatten this out and keep going with adding the landscaping fabric and the stones all the way around our border here. All right, so this is what the front of the fire pit area is going to look like. We did a little sample to make sure we liked it before we started to go all in with the design. And so basically what we're doing is taking some landscaping fabric and putting that down on like the edge of the circle. And then we're putting those stones on top to create the border. So I'm cutting out the landscaping fabric now, passing it to Marcus, and then he is creating the beautiful border that is going to surround our whole fire pit area. And it's gonna be super duper cute. What I will say though, is that this was actually a lot more work than I was anticipating. So Marcus is actually making a trellis wall out of the stones, which is a lot more of an intricate design that takes a lot more time. I was thinking we were just gonna throw the stones down on the ground. Marcus said, no, we are doing it a little bit differently. And I do think it's gonna turn out super duper cute, but it's not an easy project, that is for sure. So while he's working on that, I am going back and forth now that I've cut out all the landscaping fabric and I am moving the gravel from up front, like near the patio area, all the way back here. All right, y'all, so we ran out of stones. So we had to go back to Home Depot and get some home. more. And even with this little amount that we got from Home Depot, I'm thinking we're gonna have to go back and get some more. Also, I wanna see or figure out if there's something that we should put, cause we're stacking the rocks up. Like, should we put a little cement down, a little mortar so they'll stick together a little bit better. I just wanna make sure it's all super duper sturdy as the wall gets higher and higher so yeah that's something else that we might think about and then this was the wall that i actually started on in the previous footage um uh, but marcus told me i was doing it wrong so i had to redo my section because i wasn't making it level with like where we first started off the little sample it was kind of going down and it needed to stay up so yeah y'all it's been a whole lot of hard work going on over here And then it turned into nighttime, you guys. So I definitely will update you guys in part two of the fire pit makeover. I think it's gonna turn out super duper cute, um, but we weren't able to get a whole lot of footage for this 
part but I hope you guys still enjoyed it anyway and let me know what you think about it all down in the comments any suggestions that you guys might have let us know now because we haven't finished it yet so this is the perfect time to give us all your tips and tricks especially if you've done a project like this as so well. thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you all in our next video I know this one was short but I hope it also is sweet bye guys